come right down on a mat. How's that? That's great. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Sometimes oh. you get lucky. I can't even guesstimate how big that is, how wide. This is a totally classic looking edge of a seat with a background and then clam beds and then microbial mat. The shell that's just yeah. down at the bottom, that's Acrax, it. that's the Solomyids. Yeah. They live deeper in the sediment, so you never see them sticking out, except usually when they're dead. But they have sort of a small shell on either side and a really large, let's say, periostracum. It's really nice to be at a good seep site. I know. This is lovely. Saw one little bubble just now. Yeah. Seeing uh, can, uh, zoom in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're right. Right there. You want to zoom in, Marla? Points to one of oh, seven. Oh, look at that. Oh. Hello, oh, Mr. Sablefish. That oh, was wow. a lucky, pretty lucky for wow. to not get caught in the thrusters. Yeah, bubbles, bubbles. Wow. Where are we seeing? Oh. Oh, there we are. I mean, I feel like there's just a lot of that going on all over this mat. Yeah, right there is great. All of these, all the little things sticking up, those are all them. There's a bubble. Beautiful. Yeah. See, there's all sorts of little snails oh, as well. Yeah, amazing. there's so many. Andrew, are those little snails, like Littorina type snails? 25% uh, on there, Mike. Yeah, Carrie, they're little snails. Um, they're not Littorina. I think they're mostly Pravana. Oh, I see. All right, all right. Looks good to me. Okay. we're looking at there is a nice calyptogena clam and there's also a small scale worm out to the right hand side which is a polychaete oh. and, uh, and then you can also see a whole lot of just little gastropods and snails sitting living and feeding off the map now let me see what's going on here Get that on the port. well we'll be able to pick it back up says so when Go. Oh, Immediately. Yeah. Look nice. at that. Cool. And then we'll also take a chunk of that rock for analysis. Okay. information so I'm good with that thank you okay. sure really nice shot of that crab and thorny head both on the carbonate the the scoop will get a lot more material than the the slurp will and it'll also get a lot of the the finer material if we don't shake it too much so with this scoop, we want to uh, get as much sort of the mud as intact as possible. So we don't want to shake it out to get the fines out or anything. I think it's more like flan that's sat out on the counter for about three <laughs> weeks. <laughs> that's so weird. Nice. I totally want to see what this looks like when it comes up. Jelly. You know, it will probably just disintegrate. Looks like a fur coat. Yeah. Wow, there are so many of them. There you can really see no how many small bubbles are right below us. Well, yeah, they're wobbly too. They got a bit of... Yeah. Well, at this depth, when they're released, they might actually they get a, a hydrate crust on the outside. So it's actually this little like amorphous ice ball kind yeah. of getting floating up to the surface. Can we zoom in a little bit on these clams? They all look dead to me. No, no, those are There's those some are live ones in there on the right. Yeah, in the foreground. I actually see they're all pretty, oh. pretty good. What are these um, pale, pinky things with the with the two? Veins those are the siphons like the, of yeah, the clams. The clams. Yeah, oh, sticking up that way. Yeah, yeah. All right, I see. Yeah. Um, how did you spell? What were the clams? Uh, Acarax. A C H R A X. Perfect. They're a solomyid instead of a vesicomyid. You're not totally wrong. But 25%. What kind of snail is that? It's a uh, nucleona. Yeah. Or 
Charlie. Neptunia, that's the name. It's Neptunia. Oh, that is also Neptunia? Jeez. Yeah, that, that's Neptunia. I was Neptunia. thinking of the end name, but I was like, it doesn't look. Yeah, that's that's why I said Nucleana, and I said it. I was like, well, that's the <laughs> wrong word. What is that? <laughs> yeah, stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's peachy, man. No, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. Al, you want to push in there real quick? Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, yeah. We sometimes see the orange mat, and there's been some hypothesis in the literature that it's more of a heavy, heavier hydrocarbons can lead to the orange mat. Nice dive, you guys. 